could be us So back to what I was saying could, could, could be us Hi folks, today I'm going to discuss about the viral replication. It is an important topic in the chapter of virus or you may say a virology chapter. So welcome to the ZMEDS and here I'm Faisal Rashid and today I will talk about the viral replication and this is about microbiology. Let's break the leg of viral replication. First of all, discussing about the viral replication, so we must know that what we will study today in our video. So first, I will give you an overview about my topic, viral replication. So first, we will discuss an introduction, then uh, conditions for uh, replication, and then various steps or stages will be discussed in this video about the uh, virus replication. So these are the basic six steps uh, that are involved in the viral replication and the diagrammatical representation at the last. So let's have an introduction about the viral replication. The very first uh, step you should know that is the formation of biological viruses must take in the target host cell. So the biological viruses are uh, basically formed in the target host cell. Virus then must, uh, the you may say that is a condition for the uh, viral replication that the virus must get into the cell before the cell replication. Without this cell replication will not occur. DNA viruses assemble in nucleus and RNA virus develops solely in cytoplasm. So this point is uh, more clear to you people so no need for more explanation so the DNA viruses will assemble the nucleus and RNA viruses, RNA viruses will uh, develop in cytoplasm outside the nucleus and uh, this is uh, a uh, confusing point that uh, greatly varied and depend on the type of genes involved in them so the viral replication is different for specific viruses so we cannot say that um, the viral replication is same in all the viruses so but the basic stages and the or you may say the basic steps involved these are same in all viruses so we can say uh, viral replication is same but uh, may vary and depend upon the type of gene involved in them Next, we will discuss about the conditions for replication. So, what are the conditions that will uh, affect the replication process? So, if these conditions are not fulfilled, then replication will not occur. First, the host cell must be permissive. Uh, it means that the host cell must allow the virus particle to get inside into the cell host cell must not degrade the virus uh, it's mean it means that the host cell uh, if does not show any immune response toward the virus then a viral replication can occur virus must be able to use the metabolic machinery of the host cell uh, it's an important point that if a virus is not able to use the metabolic machinery of the host cell then no protein synthesis and translation and uh, um, transcription process will be occur so we can say that virus cannot replicate inside the cell until it can use the metabolic machinery here these are the some steps involved so the very first step is attachment that uh, the virus first must attach to the surface of the cell so we should know that there should be must a strong interaction between the virus and the host cell. Uh, that's an important point uh, you should know. Complementary part of the virus called ligand, while the host cell surface called receptor, these should get bind to each other uh, to have a strong attachment between the virus and the host cell. So it will be discussed in diagram uh, next to 
to this explanation. So, for example, uh, to understand the ligand and receptor, for example, we have a retrovirus, so which has a glycoprotein GP120 that act as a ligand and react with the CD4 of the T cell. So, these act as a receptor uh, for the attachment of the viral particles. Uh, same is the case with influenza, hemagglutinin uh, bind with the respiratory epithelium. So here it is uh, an, a diagram uh, which I was discussing. So these are the influenza virus particle and they attach to the cell surface, epithelial cell surface uh, as they these part of the uh, hemagglutinin uh, part of the influenza virus act as a ligand and the epithelial surface act as a receptor site for the attachment. So this is a, an, a diagram about the attachment of the virus. In next step, now we will discuss that the penetration, that what is penetration of the virus. So taking in of a virus into the host cell is penetration of the virus. Uh, it's uh, pretty much clear to you people. The process uh, is basically called viropexia or endocytosis viropexia, uh, where engulfment of the virus occur into the cell. Some viruses are admitted directly through the cell membrane, uh, such as adenoviruses. Uh, they do not need any uh, fusion of the virus to the surface of the cell. Uh, in case of enveloped viruses, uh, the envelope fuse with the host cell membrane. Uh, where infusion first occurred, then the engulfment uh, is process. So here the virus uh, in the previous step was outside the cell and now it's uh, inside the cell where penetration of the virus is occurred and uh, now uh, it is happily living in this cell. So moving toward our next step. Our next step is uncoating. So what is uncoating? Let's see. Uh, the physical separation of the capsule and the nucleic acid. This is the uncoating of the viral particle inside the cell. So this occurs in the presence of the enzyme called lysozyme. So when the virus uh, enter into the cell, so it loses its outer layer and the capsule uh, when enter into the cell this is about uncoating uh, it's a simple step uh, let's see another one so our next step is about the biosynthesis of the virus so why biosynthesis mean that uh, the synthesis of the new particles inside the cell in case of dna the virus replication occur in the nucleic acid while in rna the virus replication occur in the cytoplasm the three main components are formed in this biosynthesis process that are nucleic acid, protein and enzymes that are necessary for the survival of the viral particles to have an infectious process uh, further. The translation and transcription process also occur over here. So we can say and the complete biosynthesis of viral particle over here. The transcription and translation are the another detailed process so we will not dive into these topics and here is the diagram about the uh, viral biosynthesis so the viral RNA enters the nucleus, nucleus and we are replicated by the viral RNA polymerase enzyme so the next step is about the maturation and or you may say the assembly of the viral particles that are formed in the uh, the previous step in biosynthesis of the viral particles or you may see the virus so the enzyme encoded by the viral genes uh, there are preformed uh, which guide the assembly step by step so these viral genes guide the particles or you may say the uh, capsid and the nucleic acid uh, and the particles other than these formed are assembled in a particular shape so the replicated DNA and the capsids formed is reassembled into a complete virus particle as I have discussed that they are reassembled into a 
particular shape or you may see into a particular form here it is a diagram uh, in the biosynthesis so all the particles were formed so in these uh, particles are newly formed now and they the uh, genome and the capsid formed they are reassembled to each other and a new particles are formed so a new, new phase particles are assembled this is uh, the five step and the five number step and now we have the last step well, let's discuss it here we have our last stage of the viral replication that is the release of viruses so as it is the last stage of the viral replication so before discussing the release of virus we must know about the burst time of the virus so it is the time passes from the attachment of the virus to the release of the new virus this is the burst time and it is different for different viruses such as it is uh, 20 to 40 minutes for the bacteriophage and uh, the release also depend upon the type of the virus involved whether it is enveloped virus or whether it is non enveloped virus so in enveloped virus the release occur by the budding process while whereas the in non enveloped virus the release occur by the uh, lysis of the cell as uh, the virus is released and it is uh, free flowing now so this was about the viral replication today we have discussed so now I will show you the whole diagrammatic representation that is uh, attachment, penetration, encoding, biosynthesis, assembly and release of these viruses so uh, this is discussed in earlier stages uh, well and uh, you are familiar with it now and uh, thank you so thank you very much uh, for watching my video and keep subscribing stay happy bye